Ray? Oh, Did you miss me? Would you be upset if I said no? Yeah, a little bit. I think I said off. I think that's what... Can I swear on this? The dream was that we'd make a show and that somebody in the US would pick it up. That was the dream. There was talk of, if we do a good job making it in Australia, maybe someone will want to take it on and remake it. But my whole thing was I wanted to make it good that people would want to take it on as is. Because for me, Scott as Ray is the show. You just keep your guys in line, mate, OK? And then I won't have to do it for you. I can't say that I expected the show to get picked up in the US. The hope was there. And the hope was that FX would pick it up and we would be an FX show. I was a little surprised when FX picked it up for a US release. But I believed in the show as well. You want to kill him? I think we should. Scott and I were in LA and we came in and sat with FX. Just to sit around a room with posters of so many of my favourite shows and know that we were going to be a part of that. It was really awesome. I owe you big time, my friend. Yep. And you still owe me money too. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do still owe you that money, but I'll uh, have that to you in another week. Sure. It's been a pleasure making Mr. Inbetween because I've been such a fan of Scott since I first met him and getting to bring that character to share with other people is a real joy. Having the opportunity to take a lot of ideas that I've had for 30 years as a writer and to get it in front of an audience when for so long it was just words on a piece of paper, that's probably the highlight of making the show. Sometimes dreams come true, which is good. What a day, eh? What a day in my life, mate.